Hey friends, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Brittany Jade. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are going to get some major cleaning and organizing done today. I'm so excited to take you guys along with me. It has been such a long time since I've done these cleaning videos, but I am just here to show you mom life, how I stay on top of keeping our house clean and how I utilize time. So I'm gonna be doing a speed clean today and I'm just gonna take you guys through. I have about an hour of time to get everything done. So we're gonna focus on my main level house. So just my living room, my dining room, the kitchen. I'm just gonna clean through all of that really quickly. It's really chaotic and messy here right now. So so excuse me and I want to get everything nice and clean because I want to put out my fall decor so I'm not gonna be putting out any fall decor in this video but because I like to start off with like a clean slate I'm gonna be taking some things away like some of my spring and summer stuff that we have up and I'm just going to be making space for that fall vibes that's coming very soon I will have an entire fall decorate with me video up here shortly so make sure that you guys are subscribed you don't want to miss it let's go ahead and get on into the cleaning all right guys so before i hop into this video i did want to say that this video is actually in collaboration with my friend kat over on youtube she has an awesome cleaning channel where she does a ton of cleaning motivation she lives in canada and she is also a mama and a hairstylist i love her personality she's so upbeat bubbly she's seriously just one of the sweetest mamas that i've met here over on youtube and i know you guys are going to absolutely love her channel we are both collaborating today on a main level clean of our house so definitely when you're done watching my video make sure that you head over to her video so that you can watch her channel and support as well and make sure to tell her that I sent you I'll have all of her social media and her video link listed down below in the description box one of the videos that really captivates me is when she was a guest on a bridal show where she went to go and get her wedding dress in honor of her mom who was sick and did pass away. It is seriously one of the sweetest videos I've ever seen and you definitely want to make sure you head over there to check her out and make sure you subscribe as well. All right, you guys, so I am going to be starting off in my living room today. We are going to be doing a main level clean of my house, so I'm going to be focusing on my living room, my dining room, and my kitchen. This is where we spend the majority of our time as a family, so I feel like it gets trashed pretty much every day, but I'm going to be doing a little bit of a deeper clean because I want to get ready for all of my fall decor, and I feel like I can't start decorating and adding more clutter to a space until I have a really nice fresh and clean space it really sparks my creativity when I'm decorating and it also just makes me feel a lot better because as you know whenever you start adding decor for the holidays it seems like it's never-ending and it can definitely pile up on each other so that is why I am doing a deep clean of this space today and speaking of fall, drop down in the comments and let me know if you've already decorated for fall or if you're somebody who likes to wait until the summer weather has officially left the building. Leave a comment and let me know down below and let me know where you're watching from as well. So we do have a playroom, but like I said, we spend a majority of our time down here. So we have a toy chest that the kids get to play with because it's just more convenient than relying on them using the stairs by themselves. But as you can see, the toys get kind of crazy. So I do like to toy rotate. I just have one of these Rubbermaid bins that I keep out of my garage. And I try to switch out the toys as often as I can to just kind of pique their interest. It's incredible to me how many toys my kids have because I swear I don't even buy the toys. I don't. I honestly don't know where they even come from, but they have taken over this space. So what I'm doing is just kind of getting the ones that I know they'll want to play with. And then I'm going to put the rest of them either upstairs in the playroom or in the toy bin as I rotate them out. Thank you. 
So I really did not have that much spring or summer decor up this year. I feel like with everything going on in the world, I really wasn't as inspired to spruce up the house as much as I normally do. So I'm not really taking down as much spring and summer decor. I'm basically just going to be switching out some artificial flower pots that I have and I'm going to be putting those away for the year so I can make some room for my fall decor. I'm also just going to be dusting and making sure to give everything a really nice and good clean. I'm sad to say that the last time I cleaned these windows was when I was doing my spring cleaning and I feel like there have been a ton of spiders around my house recently. That was just one that I just picked up there and there are a ton of things that I'm thinking about changing in our living space right now. I am so inspired to get some home projects done. Taylor and I have been really diligent about making this space much more cozy and we have so many more plans for the living room. I actually want to take down the two shelves that you guys saw earlier and maybe do like a statement wall with some paint or wallpaper or some other kind of shelving unit there because I'm just not loving the way that it went, but that's... The fun in being a homeowner, you basically get to change your decor around as much as you'd like. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you would be interested in keeping up with our home improvement projects. Moving right along to the hardest space to keep clean in our house is our peninsula. This has basically become the dropping space for literally everything between mail and extra tumblers that I have and just everything ends up on that peninsula so I'm constantly having to clean it and I'm just going to be cleaning up after lunch here but I'm going to be making sure that I'm giving everything a nice clean and sanitized and I'm just going to be taking down a few pieces that I have on the wall there emptying out the dishwasher and doing all of the kitchen things. If you are still here watching this video, I just want to say thank you so much for supporting my channel and I would really love it if you would consider hitting that red subscribe button as well as the little bell notification. It really does help my channel guys when you go ahead and subscribe and it also helps when you hit the thumbs up button or if you comment down below, I would definitely appreciate the engagement and I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you on a more personal level.
One of my favorite scents to use in the kitchen is the Mrs. Meyers Lemon. I feel like it just is really fresh and clean. It's not too overpowering and I just love the scent of lemony, fresh, clean kitchen. So this is one of my favorite cleaners by them. And I'm just, again, making sure that I'm giving everything a nice clean wipe down, moving things, cleaning behind them, because I just wanna feel like I have a nice clean space so that when I wake up tomorrow or the next day and I want to start taking out my fall decor, I know that everything is nice and clean and I can put things up on my counter or reset up my coffee bar without any thoughts of dirt or grime or anything like that slowing me down. You're making me nervous. No, I've realized that I can't live without you. All my friends reassure that it's obvious and that maybe I'm wasting my time. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing is taking care of the floors. And ever since my one-year-old started to crawl, I feel like I have to stay on top of these. Like every single day, I am constantly mopping and sweeping and vacuuming the floors because this little guy is everywhere. Mamas, let me know down below if you feel me on this because the last thing I want is for him to get any little weird thing into his mouth because I didn't keep the floor clean. I hope that y'all really enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up and I will check you guys in the next video. If you guys are here from Kat's channel, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope that you guys will become a part of the fam and hit that subscribe button down below and also comment and let me know that you're here from her channel. I'd love to chat with you guys and get to know y'all a little bit better. But thanks so much guys and I'll catch you guys in the fall decor video. You'll definitely wanna make sure that you're subscribed for that and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.